Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here for this cardio workout. My name is Marshall Elliott, certified group exercise instructor, personal trainer, yoga teacher. So happy to bring this workout to you today. It's a short one, 30 minutes, low impact cardio. We're gonna start with about a four, five minute warm up. Get our muscles warm, get our bodies moving. I highly recommend for these workouts that you always have water and a towel. So if you don't have water and a towel, grab that. It's the only thing you need. You don't need any equipment for this workout. You just need your body, some space, comfortable workout clothes, workout shoes. Today's low impact workout is gonna be um, pretty unilateral. So what, we're mean, what I mean by that is we're gonna work one side at a time. So one exercise on one side and then the other. All of the exercises are 30 seconds on each side. So one minute of work with 30 seconds in between. And that 30 seconds in between can be your recovery. You can keep your body moving, marching, jogging, some other movements that I'll invite in for you. Or you can take a recovery, grab a quick drink. So there's only eight exercises, 30 seconds on each side. That part of the workout is like eight minutes, right? Um, did I do that right? I did, I think I did my math right. <laughs> um, so we should be able to do it twice. So that's the plan. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, rest, repeat on the other side, and then, or, or repeat, and then do it again. So I'm confusing myself because I'm saying too many words. I start talking numbers and words at the same time, and as you can tell, I'm not a mathematician. Anyway, you guys, I want you to make this as hard or as easy as you want. If you're pretty new to exercise or you've been kind of sedentary, you've been sitting back, you're gonna keep it all low impact. There's gonna be options the second time we run through the work to go a little bit higher. So if you wanna go higher, go higher. You can keep it the same. You could even start higher, go lower. This is your workout. So once you've got some space, you've got your water, you've got your towel, let's get our bodies warm, low impact cardio. We're gonna start nice and easy. March your feet. Let your arms kind of hang, shake them out, and roll your shoulders. Opposite direction. Nice, big inhale up. Exhale. A couple more of those, breathe. All right, hill digs right and left. So we're gonna warm the body from the bottom to the top, loosening up all of our joints. So we're starting at the ankle joint, pumping the arms to get the heart rate pumping. Anytime we bring the arms overhead, heart rate goes higher. Tap to the back, tap. So pushing the arms back now. We start with a little bicep curl, now a little tricep kick. So we're warming through the arms, but our focus is ankle mobility. So as you tap, you're tapping the top of your foot. So you're reaching back. We're gonna start slowly, feet apart. We squat, right leg back and lunge. Squat, left leg back and lunge. So, knee stability with a little hip mobility. Squat and lunge. So both knees are at 90 degrees. It's just the warm up, so you might not be lunging or squatting very low. That's okay. Squat as you lunge. Keep your chest up and bend your back knee. This time, lunge back, hold, drop your knee, come all the way down. Let's loosen up the hips. So the leg closest to your screen, pick it up, we circle around. So we're gonna get a little internal and external rotation of the hip. Keep rolling through. Two more. 
reverse the roll. So now externally roll open through the hip. And as you're doing this, equal weight in both hands, belly braced, nice and strong. Two and one, back knee circles in. So think of rolling through the hip. You're circling the knee around, finding the hip mobility. One more, reverse your circle, open. We wanna make sure we find mobility and stability through all of the joints. All right, hold. Now, brace your belly nice and strong. To find that belly brace, start by bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under, lift your knees. Feel that brace, and as you tap the knees down, keep it. Right leg, left arm extend out. Pull the belly in strong, equal weight in your right hand and your left knee. Tap your hand and foot, tap down and lift. So, working now for core stability, and spinal mobility, right down into the lumbar spine. I'm only lifting my heel as high as my hip, my thumb as high as my shoulder. Two more. Come down, extend, opposite arm and leg. Let's tap, down and up. So pull the belly in. We start to find a little strength and a little mobility of the lower back, the lumbar spine. I'm just tapping my toe and my pinky lightly. Head stays in line with spine. Four, three, one more. All right, you're gonna flip over. Give your wrist a little roll, shake them out. You're gonna come down. So on your butt, pull your hands back behind you. We're gonna lift, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So we're pressing the hips up, reaching the arm back, tap down. So now we're getting into thoracic mobility and opening the shoulders. Are you ready? Let's go. Up, up, down, switch. Up, up, down, and switch. Push through the hips, lengthen, and reach the arm back. So you start to not only feel that rotation through the thoracic or middle of the back, but start to open up into the shoulder joint. Reaching back, push the hips up. One more each side. All right, come back up. Shake out the arms. We're gonna step touch. Swing. Move into the shoulders. All right, single, single, double. Double to the right and circle the arms. Left, swing, circle left, right. Reaching through the shoulders, big circles. Now, this is where we start to bring the heart rate up. So take a little hop on the second step. Swing, swing, step, hop, circle the arms. Getting the arms above the head, increasing the heart rate. Couple more. March. So I wanna pick that heart rate up just a little bit more. Little out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. So we're staying low, not much of a run. Shoot the legs out and in. Reach through the shoulders. Push. Forward and back. Ba 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 ba. Still moving right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Push. Up and back. March, left foot. Hold. How's that for picking up the heart rate just a little bit? Out, out, in, in, left foot leads. Ba, ba. Out, out. Keep pushing as quick as you can. 
Even if that means it's not as quick as me. Forward, ba ba. Just on the balls of my feet. Keep the movement small, quick, push. Last two, hold, march. All right, you guys, warm and ready. So, let's get that timer going. First exercise is a side crunch. All we do is shift the body weight. We're not leaning over. So you wanna stay up tall, lightly tapping the toe. Reach the arm overhead. Think elbow and knee coming toward each other, but you wanna crunch into the side of the body. Get long onto the opposite side. Let's get ready. Four, three, two, let's go. Pump it. Keep pulling down. Squeeze right into your side. Come on, pull. Start to feel the intensity and the oblique muscles of the waist. Five, four, three, two, let's switch. Tap and reach, let's go, pull. Keep crunching right into the side of the body. Find your balance. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Come on, squeeze. Keep pulling. Whew. Five seconds. Two, march it out right here. All right, so you got options. You can jog. You can march, or any time that you need to, you can even take a break. Next move is a kick, tap back. So we stay on the right leg first. Now, you can kick as high as you want, tap back as far as you want. Five seconds, four, three, two, right leg, kick, tap. Now, you can even go for it. You choose the speed. This is your workout. Kick as high as you can. Tap back as far as you can. Brace your belly strong. Push through it. Start to feel the load on the standing leg. Your stabilizer. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, switch. Go right into the other side, punch it. I'm just punching my arms, little opposition. Come on, reach. Now, your standing knee, slightly bent. <laughs> this leg's not as stable as the other. Come on, seven seconds, that's all. Three, two, march it out. If you need it, grab a drink. Next move, it's an adduction. So we're gonna swing the leg in and lunge out. Swing and lunge. 15 seconds. You got your space. Left leg's not moving. We swing the right leg, lunge out. Ready? Let's go. Swing, push, swing, push. You can even punch the arms up and down. Where do you wanna be? Bend your outside knee, push, bend, swing, bend. Come on, press out, press out through the knee. Keep your chest lifted and switch. Swing, lunge, swing. Come on. Get the leg across the midline of the body. Push. 15 seconds. Swing, bend the knee. You're straightening the opposite leg. Chest up, belly braced. Five seconds. March or jog. Where do you need it? All right. 
a little more, a little upper body. Half jack, but it's just an abduction, jab, jab. Reach, punch right, left. As you punch, you're punching right from the chest at shoulder level. Lift, jab, jab. So right first, then we switch to the left. Yeah, three, two, one, from the side. Lift, jab, jab. Lift, jab, jab. Push. Now, if you want more, you can jump. It's just a half jack, punch, punch. How quick can you get your arms out and back in? Lift, jab, jab. Right, left, right, left. Last two. Left side, left, right, left, right. Push, left, right. Come on, up, up. Push it or jump it, you choose. Keep it moving, only 10 seconds. Fast or slow, come on. Reach, abduct, pull the leg out from the hip. Lift your chest. Last one, walk or march. Oh my, we are halfway. Four more exercises. Remember that squat lunge from the warm up where we alternated sides. Now we squat all on the same side. Right leg first, 10 seconds. I'm gonna show you from the side first. Feet just off side hips. Three, two, one, squat, lunge. Now, you can take it nice and slow. But bend the back knee, drop down, squat, bend, push. Even if you keep it slow, to find a deeper range of motion, doesn't matter the pace. Keep moving, last one. Switch, left side, squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Get low, push your butt back. Press your heels down on the squat. Lift your back heel on the lunge, keeping your front heel solid. 10 seconds, squat, lunge. Come on. Whew. Hold, shake it out. This one is gonna require a little back face. We're gonna shuffle, left knee, turn. Shuffle, I like, right knee. Shuffle, lift, turn. Shuffle, right knee. So always the right knee, so about face. Then we're gonna start with the left. Five seconds, shuffle right. Right knee, about face, shuffle right, right knee. Let's go. Push. Push. You can even shuffle a little further, a little faster. Push. Hop. Push. You can even get low and up. Always to the right. Always right knee. All right, hold to the left, let's go. Feels different on this side, huh? Left knee, shuffle left, left knee, turn, shuffle left, left knee, turn. Do you get low? Come on. You can even jump, shoot it. Where's my basketball players? Time, breathe. Two more. We're gonna work our way down to the floor. So, a plank walkout. We roll down, walk out to plank, lift our right arm, walk back in. 30 seconds lift in the right arm, 30 seconds lift in the left. Five, four, Three, two, let's go. Walk out, right arm. 
Again, walk out to plank. Get your hips square to the floor. You can even walk slowly, and you don't have to raise the arms at the top. Right arm reach. It's a quick reach. No time to roll to the other side. One more on the right arm. We keep going. Left hand this time. Walk. Left arm reaches. Feel the core stability. Holy cow. The thoracic mobility. Right into the spine. There's only 10 seconds. Can you get two more? Push. Come on. Oh my. We're gonna go right back down to plank. But this time, it's the lower body. So, if this hurts your wrist, you can try making fists on the floor or come down to forearms. We're driving one knee forward, pressing the heel. Not a high lift, just like in those spinal balances where the heel is at hip level. Come down to your plank or your hover. Here we go, right knee, forward, lift, forward, lift. Push through, knee, lift. Now, if you need to take a knee, you can drop the knee. Shoulders are over the wrist. 10 seconds here, push, press. Keep it going. Feel the stability through the opposite leg. Set it down, left leg goes. Forward, lift. Squeeze through the core, push the heel high. Ooh. Hang in there, you guys. You got a one minute break before we start over. Keep pushing. 10 seconds if you need to. Take a knee. Come on. Five seconds. Nice job. Come up, shake out. You got a full minute and we start over. Grab a drink. Woo. How are you doing? Low impact can stay low or you can start to pick it up a little bit. I'm gonna blow my nose, we've still got like 38 seconds. Huh. Anyone else's nose run when you're working out? Mama Mia. I tell you what, sweating, nose running, all of that, getting those toxins out of the body is so good and so healthy. 15 seconds, we start from the top. Eight exercises, working unilaterally, one side at a time. Get ready, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, side crunches. Let's go, 30 seconds. Now, you can challenge the balance and don't tap the foot. There's the extra intensity. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Tap it if you need it. Five, four, three, two. Let's switch, go. Get the balance first, start the tap. Then if you wanna challenge yourself, don't tap. Whoo, that burns. Not just into the waist, but into the butt, yeah? Come on, this is where we take it higher or you can keep it low and tap. Five seconds, four, three, two, march your jog. 30 seconds, kick, tap back. Right leg only. You're doing so great. We're over the halfway mark, mark now. 15 seconds, right leg, kicking forward, tapping back. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Now remember, you choose the speed, 
you choose the height. Kick, tap back, kick, tap back. Walk your belly on so you're not arching the back as you kick. Reach the foot forward. Punch the arms. Come on. Tap way back. Feel the load of the left leg. Your stabilizer muscles kicking in. Five seconds. Switch. Left side. Kick, tap. You choose the speed. It can be this slow. It can be this fast. It can be anywhere between. Your workout. 15 seconds. Whew. Come on. Lock the belly on. Lean the back forward. Do an arch. Five seconds. March or jog. Hi, yi, yi. All right. From the fronts and backs of the legs, we go to that inner thigh. We swing it, we lunge. Right leg only, then the left. 15 seconds. Now, as you swing, standing these soft, reach across the body without turning. Bend that lead leg, straighten the outside. Three, two, one. Swing, lunge. Bring it across the body. Push out. I press my hips back to keep my hips square as I lunge. Belly brace. Can you swing further and lunge a little deeper? Big step out to the side. Five seconds. Switch, left side. Swing, lunge. Did I swing it both ways? That's weird to me. Whichever way works for you. Ah, come on, press out, 10 seconds. Go wider, swing, press, swing, press, five. March or walk. All right, it's that half jack, two jabs. Now, you can take a big jump and then jab. Right leg, we jab, right, left. Left leg, left, right. Get them up. 10 seconds. Get ready for it. Five, right leg, half jab, and jab. Lift, jab, jab. One foot can stay on the floor, or you can jump, but take that right leg out, push. Abduct. So think of leading with your ankle toward the ceiling. Big punch, right out from the shoulders. Five seconds. Switch. Left side, left, right. Push, left, right. You can jump both feet off the floor. Abduct the left leg. Push. Don't lean over, rise up, 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 come on. Get those jabs out there, 10 seconds. Punch it quick, up, quick, quick. Hold, Woo. four down, four remain. Squat and lunge, right side, 30 seconds. Left side, 30 seconds. Cheers, you guys. 10 seconds and we go. Take your feet wider than hips. Squat down, right leg straight back and lunge. Squat, lunge. You choose the pace, you choose the depth. Now, chest is up, shoulders are over the hips, and your front knee over your ankle as you lunge. Don't cross the foot behind. Take it straight back in line with your hips. Can you get a little lower? This last 10 seconds. Woo. Everybody, left side. Squat, left lunge. 
Where are you stronger? You'll know right away by your range of motion. Which side are you lunging deeper on? Come on, get down, chest up. Five seconds. Hold, march. All right, we're gonna shuffle right knee, right? This time we're going to box. So shuffle, right knee, turn to the side. Shuffle. So instead of turning around back and forth, make a box, yeah? Shuffle to the right, front, over and back. All the way, three, two, one, let's go. Make a box. All the way around, right side. Now, you can get a little lower, but you gotta rise high on the knee lift. Push. Mind box just became a circle. Everybody hold to the left, go. Left knee, make a box. It can be a circle, just keep moving it. Shuffle, left knee. Do you get low? Rise, 10 seconds. Woo. March it out. Last two rounds, coming down. Walk out plank, reach the right arm. Now, you can even come down onto your knees and rock back. You don't even have to stand all the way up if that's a long way for you. 30 seconds reaching the right arm, 30 seconds reaching the left. Five seconds we go. Four, three, two, walk out plank, right arm reaches. Now, get the hips square. Oops, should still be the right arm. <laughs> I tried to alternate. Push. As you extend the arm, feel your abs. Notice what's happening. They fully engage. Yeah? Feel the reach. You're not reaching for long. Last one on the right side. This time, left arm. I always feels weird to me because I'm a lot, I'm right-handed. Come on, lock your belly on, on the way down and the way up. Knees or toes, get the body long. Come on, if the hamstrings are tight, bend the knees more on the way down. You got one more. Walk or march. All right, last move, remember, you're holding the plank or you're in a forearm hover. Knee, kick straight back. Right side, 30 seconds. Left side, 30 seconds. Then we cool down, you guys. This is all we've got. Come on down. Five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Knee, kick. You decide how fast. Or if you need to drop a knee, or if you're on your forearms, you gotta get your butt down. Even on your forearms, you can drop a knee. 15 seconds. Hardest exercise, because we're at the end. Come on, push. Drive the knee forward, put it down, switch. Push back. You're almost there. Drive in, reach. Keep the body weight forward. Knee down if you need it, forearms down if you need it. 15 seconds. Brace the belly strong. Come on, push the floor away with your hands. Six seconds. You did it, release. Roll up, rise up, shake it out.
you did so awesome. Shake out your arms. Roll your shoulders. Switch. Walk a little wider. So, whoever thought that low impact isn't hard or isn't challenging, never rose or raised the intensity, right? Sometimes we can pump up the heart rate, we can tap into the muscles of the body, and we can find that max heart rate, that big push. Just swing the hips. Cooling down. Inhale. Exhale. One more with your feet still. Come into a squat, feet are wide. Drop your chest forward, pull up through the belly. Now drop your right shoulder down. Stretch across the spine. Come to center, left shoulder. Come to center, you're gonna lunge over to the right. If you can, bring your left hand down. Now all you're gonna do is turn all 10 toes toward the right. Drop your left knee, top of foot, open up the chest. Feel that stretch right in the front of the hip. Come down, lift, and then just switch sides. Lunge over to the left, stretch out the inner thigh, come all the way over, and release that runner's lunge, open up the front of the hip. You're gonna come back up to center, all 10 toes forward, stretch the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. Maybe if the hands don't reach, hold your legs. Roll up, hands to hips, heel toe the feet together. Check out the arms once more. Interlace fingers rise. Exhale, drop your shoulders, open your chest, chin lifts. Reverse. Spread your wings. Reach back, interlace fingers, push down. Lift the chin, open the chest, front of the shoulders. You guys were amazing. If you're not moving on to more of a workout, I highly recommend you stretch a little bit more and absolutely make sure that you hydrate well. Take good care of your bodies and you were so good to what you just did to your body, be good about what you put into it.